Well, welcome back. This is episode 30 of uh, Let's Play Minecraft with Crymo. How are you guys doing? If there's anybody left watching this stuff, <laughs> I don't even know. I know, I feel terrible. It's been, uh, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, I know. And the last time I, I made a video, it was already a long time before that one came out. And then we made that thing that's behind me right there. That I realize now, um, I should have done something different. <laughs> of course, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Um, yep, it's been, things have been busy. Things have been busy. Especially, yes, with that other YouTube channel. I know it's kind of a thing, but uh, it's been busy. But now I get to take a break. And as I, I mentioned, I think at some point, um, I do, I have been taking some time designing builds. So I actually have, I think, five episodes worth of, of builds ready to go. So um, all I got to do is, uh, you know, build them. I've got the uh, schematics in, they're ready to go. So we can do some 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 hopefully quicker uh, episodes where I actually just, uh, you know, get some stuff done around here. But as for this thing, my giant storage system, while it's cool and all, I just realized that, uh, or not just, but I was thinking about it the other day and I was like, you know what? All that stuff, all the machinery is stacked up there, up high, and that's what makes this so tall. Uh, you know, the whole profile of this thing. Um, and I realized that because these hopper chest chains are basically feeding off of this thing, um, it might have been tricky to do this, but I could have done it. I just didn't think about it. But I could have, I could have taken all the machinery that's up there and put it down there, and actually just had the the output, which is kind of right in that level, right in there. I could have had the outputs go to you know, item streams or item elevators and brought them up to here. And I could have had a, a more manageable height, height, height to work with. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So whatever, that's going to be a giant structure up there. Um, I considered tearing it all out and putting it down, but uh, I don't think it's really worth that. It's not really worth that, you know. Anyway, I hope everybody's been doing well the last couple of months. Got the holidays out of the way. Started a new year, for goodness sake. It's 2023, and uh, things are things are crazy. Things are crazy everywhere, in both good and bad ways, which is uh, life, right? It's life. Anyway, um, we're going to get right to it. We're going to get right to it here. Um, I've already done this little part right here, which is, yeah, I've done this little part right here. Oh, look at that. Speaking of which, uh, you know, item elevator, um, that's one right there. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Well, let's see. Let's see if we got anything in here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Honey bottles. There's a honey bottle farm down there because over here, I couldn't really convert the honeycomb farm, which is right over yonder, over this way. Um, I couldn't convert this to, uh, now I'm stuck in here. I couldn't convert this without making height changes and stuff to the build. So I decided, you know what? I want a greenhouse. And then what better way? That's what today's build is going to be is a greenhouse. And uh, maybe put the honey bottle machine down there. And uh, I'll take a little nap here. I actually built the honey, honey bottle farm. Uh, here, we'll go into... Oh man, I don't understand what's going on. Every single time I close and open Minecraft now, starting with this 19.2 update, um, which I, of course, am using Fabric. Um, but now, every single time I start and stop the game, the my keybinds like go back to basic, and I have to go in here and change them all. And I always forget. There's free cam. Uh, I like to use you. There we go use you that's not a euphemism anyway um so there's the uh <laughs> there's the farm and the reason i put it down here so far is because i didn't want to use a tech or a resource pack to high or to dim dim <laughs> to lower the uh, or mute the audio from 
all the dispensers. Uh, there are both droppers and dispensers in this. This is a very simple design, super easy to, to do. Other than the bees, actually getting the bees in here, actually it is pretty easy if you use do it the way that uh, ENX04 tells you how to do it, which I didn't. Um, anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll link, of course, to his tutorial to build this thing. It's super, super simple, and you could make this as long as you want. I just did the basic basic size here that, that he shows in his tutorial because it'll just run all the time. I mean, I guess the bees take a break at night, but whatever. Anyway, it's 70 blocks down. It's 70, 70 blocks down to the bee farm down there. And uh, that's because that keeps the keeps the uh, uh, move my mic there a little bit keeps the noise of those um, dispensers and, and droppers basically out of here I have other dispensers and droppers that we hear periodically like the ones over here at the bee farm and or uh, the hive no what is it <laughs> the honeycomb farm etc anyway uh, yeah so right now I'm going to uh, take out the, I'm gonna clear this area that the uh, greenhouse is going to go into those precious mushroom stock blocks. Those are just the best. They're very tedious to farm a bunch of those. But anyway, um, yeah, it's time to... What? Where's my tree chopper? There it is. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Don't be, don't be ditching me on the tree chopper. We gotta have tree chopper. It's like, it's a must have. What, like, what is this nonsense? I guess it's too close to this one. Anyway, okay, so I gotta clear some area here and uh, and then I've already got all the materials here to build. Right there, uh, most of these. Uh, I got some odds and ends in the other chests in the inventory. Um, but yeah, we're gonna clear this out. We're gonna put up a little, uh, little greenhouse. So uh, let me, uh, let's get to it. simple sort of design <laughs> we need to do a little bit of a little bit of decor out here on the outside and also I got to fill in this giant underside of this hill thing but uh, oh hello Rowan which man has just jumped up on the desk and is climbing on the keyboard what are you doing dude anyway all right yes I got to fill this in this hillside because uh, it was not really uh, intended <laughs> To go out over this big space over here. I gotta take down more trees, etc. But yeah, all in all, very simple sort of simple sort of build. But now we gotta do the uh, what do I got out here? Oh, more scaffolding, yes. So now we got we got plenty of ow! What are you doing? Why are you attacking me? Oh my goodness. Cat wants to wrestle all the time up on the desk. That's not cool. Anyway, yep, uh, our thing has been working pretty good, though. So it took me about 45 minutes or so to do the build. And um, that's, that's not too bad, right, <laughs> as far as uh, honey balls go. So that's working well. That's great. So we got to do, like, some, yeah, it looks it looks pretty plain, actually, here. The whole, 
design, but you know, it's to be filled up with greenery on the inside. And of course on the outside, there's going to be stuff going around, I think. And, uh, we need some, you know, pathways, right. That kind of somehow, there we go. We got a little path right here that can kind of branch out and cruise up this way, or we can even attach this pathway here, link up that and this whole stretch right here needs something. Maybe this is more pathway. There's all kinds of this intermediate connecting areas that need to be decorated basically all through here. So that's just, you know, what we call future projects, <laughs> future projects. Anyway, can only sleep at night. It's nighttime. All right. Let me get some, uh, let's get some decorating done on the inside. All right. I got something done here. Whoa. Got a little flying going. All right, here we go. Let's see. So I uh, added some pathways and things and did some decorative stuff here. Um, yeah, I had a little, since I had to open up this little pathway and kind of make a make a, a route to get to the greenhouse. Um, there we go. Got my little uh, cheesy palm tree there. <laughs> uh, I actually really like those uh, dripstone for palm tree base. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't know about these leaves here. I, I, I never do that kind of stuff really well. But anyway, got ourselves a little micro courtyard here sort of thing. This just sort of leads out over to the uh, to our wheat farm and pumpkin melon farm tower here, windmill. And uh, yeah, so there we go. It's looking pretty cool. Got some, the vines are going to take over the front there probably. I'll probably have to trim those now and then. Oh, hmm. Yeah, let's go take a look at that. Anyway. So, got a little, we're going into the greenhouse, or uh, maybe this is more of a, uh, what's it called? Like the plant stores, the plant, planters stores where you go to get uh, plants? <laughs> uh, nurseries, a nursery, yeah, that's it, yeah. So I guess it's kind of like more like a, took on the air of more of a, a nursery type thing. But yeah, we got a little, little planter box over here, a little tree there to fill in some of the blank space, and... Uh, yeah, a little rose to come in. I do like this little palm tree out the front. I guess you could buy a palm tree from this this place here. Now the sides and everything, pretty plain at this point. Um, it took way, way longer to do this stuff than it's in the interior than it took to actually build this stupid thing. Over here, I just sort of filled in this hill. I guess we can do this. Um, yeah, we can kind of do the free cam here to take a take a gander. So I just kind of brought the rocks out so I didn't have to make this hill go all the way down but anyway um, yeah there we go so we can kind of swing around here and get a view I think the interior looks pretty good we'll go inside there in just a second I actually kind of really like how I populated the inside didn't really put too many overgrown leaves on the outside of this although when I grew this this uh, acacia tree in here it kind of popped through and that's kind of fine it kind of looks all right the back still needs to be weathered or dressed or or whatever you know with some some detail i guess but uh we'll just let that slide and this side needs to be have some more some little side things done to it i don't know there's just so much there's always just so much to do but uh yeah anyway let's go take a look inside real quick do a little quick tour of the interior of which i'm quite proud of the interior yeah so oh yeah that vine's gonna double up I guess it won't grow where the buttons are, so that's cool, but it'll probably spread and come down. That'll be too, many, too much, too much, too many vines, but anyway. So yeah, we come in here, we got ourselves a little a little happy bee fellow who appeared, uh, I threw a, an extra, oh, we got two bees now. I thought there was only one. Anyway, yeah, so it's kind of cool, a little overgrown, you know, typical, typical sort of Minecraft greenhouse thing, but I started to go with these planter boxes, and then I just uh, sort of went with the whole planter box motif all the way around. We've got all different kinds of plants. Deadly flowers right here in the deadly flower section. Yes. Um, yeah, you come over here and get some get some blue flowers if you want, you know, buy some of these flowers here in the back. Got some cacti in the uh, little planters. Got all of our four tall flowers. Come over here. We can bone meal these when we need need things. Little little mushroom fungi. Little fungi farm. Hopefully it doesn't go uh, rampant like uh whatever that uh, Last of Us fun guy is called from the Last of Us show, um, which is pretty good, pretty good show. Uh, I really, really like the Last of Us game. 
like it's one of my top three favorite games of all time mostly because of the story so i'm actually really looking forward to watching this uh, hbo series i think they're doing a pretty good job as of the recording of this video there are only uh two episodes out i watched the second episode last night and uh the second episode was even better than the first the first was i would say above decent like it's it, it's well done um it's not it's, it's almost spectacular but maybe not super it's it's a good show i think it's a solid solid show and the second second episode i think got even better so i'm looking forward to where they're going with that but um anyway yeah got our tulips in here and uh this little table thing is basically covering this is that water stream where the uh the uh honey bottles are coming up from the honey farm and i already took a whole bunch out of here and put some in there got a bunch of extra bottles i did make a little uh access point to get down into the area to put the bottles back in i should probably make a make a little thing where i could just drop the bottles down i thought about that but i also figured i needed a maintenance entrance just in case something breaks down here at some point who knows always got to have a way back to your internal builds they're just always has to be a maintenance entrance so and this is very slow <laughs> but i can't i never want to rely on having elytra i guess i could but i could have just put some water down here and then just maybe uh you know use elytra and rockets to shoot up there but yeah we can come down here and there they go oh, all the bees are going crazy and then uh we can dump in our bottles and that will continue to refresh and we'll be fine be good to go. Super cool. All right. Boy, it sure does take a long time to climb up out of here. <laughs> Jeez, it's like 80 blocks down or something, 70 blocks down. Wow. There we go. And we're just outside like the, the noise right there. It's like the uh, dispenser and dropper noise has like a 70 block radius it, it seems like so we're probably about 75 blocks down which is perfect that's what i wanted so all in all i think this was a success um yeah i kind of really like this little archway and palm tree i don't know why i don't know why i, I had no idea i was going to do that but that's kind of how minecraft is right you just start building and start laying things in there and uh get new ideas as you go um I kind of like that detail. I never have my sniper glass on me when I want to, but I like that. Uh, I had to put the dirt block, you know, to get the roots on there because they won't go on the bottom of leaves. But anyway, I like this this whole thing. It's pretty cool. Take another zoom out here, and uh, yeah, there we go. It's coming together. It's coming together. So uh, yeah, I've got uh, I got more builds coming. More builds coming. Like I said, I've got three or four. Three or four more already designed and ready to go. So um, there should be some more episodes coming out. Probably every other week maybe at this point. It won't be weekly. Um, at the very minimum, it'll be once a month. I know that's really not uh, super awesome or anything. Uh, it's a very low release schedule, but uh, you know I'll try to keep them coming. And I got to work on the design for this stupid thing up here, this giant thing. So anyway, greenhouse looks cool. I count it as a success. Let me know what you think. If you feel like it. And anyway, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys have a great couple of weeks. Hope you're having a great start to your 2023. And this year is going to be nuts. This year is going to be nuts. This is like the year of the AI. This is what some people are starting to call the inflection point. Is starting to happen, I think. Um, what that means exactly... I don't think anyone really knows what AI is really going to end up doing for society or to society. No one really knows. Um, but changes are coming. Changes are happening faster than we can really comprehend. Anyway, guys, hope you have a good one. Take care, and I will see you when I see you. See ya. See ya.